Hey guys, Brandonian Productions here, and today I'm going to teach you how to further advance the uh, look of your software uh, created in Visual Basic 2010 or 2008 Express Edition or Professional Edition if you have that. Um, I actually figured out a free way to get Professional Edition uh, for everybody, totally legally, if uh, if you want to do that. But I'll make, be making a tutorial on that very soon. However. Professional Edition is almost the same as Express Edition, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so if you're looking at my screen right here, you'll see a uh, little application, a picture of an application called Default Ribbon Sample. And as you can uh, see, it looks like it looks like the ribbon. So um, what I'm going to do is teach you how to make a program like this. And this is actually called the Kios Dev Suite, which uh, is pretty much a component package that you can use in order to make your programs look beautiful. So in order to get this component package, the first thing you want to do is press register. And it's really easy, you just gotta uh, type in some basic information and make sure it's all true and if it is, you'll get a license for this uh, component pack, otherwise you won't be able to use it. Legally, at least. And then you're gonna want to press download and then uh, uh, download and install the uh, components. And it comes with uh, various files and the this one in particular is very important right so now uh... let's go ahead and demonstrate this so the uh, link to this will be in the description and i'm just going to demonstrate how to use this so i'm going to start a new project and i'm going to name it kios project since we are demonstrating um... the kios and the way it works now kios is very nice because it is in fact free and you can use it forever there are other uh, other visual component packs that you can use that are actually a lot better than Kios. However, um, they are limited license for free, and uh, you will have to pay for them eventually. But Kios suits it just fine for the means we we are using. So I'm going to go ahead and implement the Kios right here. So what you want to do is press Toolbox, and then as you can see, I already have it here, but I'll do it again and then right click and say add tab then you're just going to want to type in the name I'm just going to call it Kios 2 since I already have Kios and then um, you're going to want to navigate to where you installed Kios normally by default it is program files and then Kios and then you're going to want to find the .dll file in the bin called Kios Dev Suite Components you're just going to want to drag that over into your uh, new tab that you created in your toolbox and then once you do that uh, the toolbox will populate with all this new stuff so um... what you can go ahead and do is actually insert a uh... let me try to find it, Q ribbon wait okay well this error will happen normally if you want to see it again you drag in the Q ribbon and it gives you an error that is because in order to use Kios you need to utilize the for the full vb.net framework not just the client framework so you can easily do this by going to um, hold on I know it is somewhere in here format no give me two seconds I'll find it don't worry okay go to debug and then options and settings that is not it don't go there that is wrong I know it is oh okay okay so go to the project tab right and then open up your properties and then in properties you're going to select the compile then you're going to want to scroll down until you get to advanced compile options and then where it says target framework parentheses all configurations make sure dotnet framework 4 is selected and then uh, it says the project must be saved so we can go ahead and save our project oh geez alright so now that it's saved we can uh, select it and then it's going to restart the your project and then it's going to be all good so as you can see nothing has changed 
But now we can put in Q ribbon to our project. And uh, it just looks like a little box of nothingness at first. However, if we maximize it and then click on this little arrow and say add Q ribbon page, you can see we've got a very nice style here. Now what you can do is you can just uh, maximize this maximize this little thing here and then you've got a very nice looking form um, there we go and you can also add another Q ribbon page and they're just like tabs so you can manage different things in each tab so thanks for watching this tutorial on how to create a nicer looking piece of software using the Q Kios um, component pack the link will be in the description and remember to rate, comment, subscribe and view my forums link for that is in the description as well. Alright, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace.